y'all. I've just been kind of perusing through my makeup this morning. I really need to switch out my lipsticks. I pulled some lipsticks to use for fall and winter, but I'm actually kind of getting tired of the ones that I pulled um, and I want to switch them out. I did like a huge lipstick declutter and gave my daughter a lot of my lipsticks. And so this is actually <laughs> quite fewer, uh, quite a bit fewer lipsticks than I used to have. I just kind of, you know, really tapered it down to ones that I know that I wanted to keep. But yeah, I think I'm just going to quickly go through and switch out some of my lipsticks right quick so we'll just run through that right quick this morning because your girl needs some new lipsticks and lip products to use for the next couple of months yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. She wanna know me, I stay low-key, all gas, no brakes, baby, let them hoes sleep. Body on to make your girl OD. I get in my way, never out of my lane. Feel like you the one in the more one. So what is gonna be? Baby squad up, we finna go deep. Is you riding on a team? Got what you need. Baby, won't you keep me company? lighting is the worst when you're trying to do like selfies and take pictures and stuff having the light above you is like the worst like see watch when I look up you see how much better you can see what's happening look at this eye look y'all get into it okay that age of opulence palette is she popping <laughs> so anyways let me get my little above light groove on i'm in here cutting up waiting on hubby to get ready to go okay i've been getting ready for about two hours obviously all he gotta do is change his clothes and i'm waiting on him i thought y'all might want to check out our little fishy fish in our tank we do have a salt water tank and it's looking kind of sad right now because hubby's so busy he doesn't really have time to you know get new fish and get new corals to put in there. But we have some fish that's been hanging with us for a minute. I mean, a minute since we, we've been in this house for a good eight years. And the blue one, I think has been with us. Um, 
I can't even think of the name of this fish right now, but I think, I think she's been with us, but we've had some casualties, but the little clowns, they be hanging on, holding on. So anyway, just wanted to give y'all a little peek at the tank. It's actually quite a big tank. I got this one for him for Christmas last year. So yeah, we need to get some more life going on in here, but it's kind of nice to have this you know, when you enter the house, cause it's very calming, very peaceful. Also, you know, when you're kind of chilling in the living room, it's nice and peaceful. Now my living room is looking real plain right now because I actually took everything out and I'm in the process of getting new decor, pictures, vases, all that stuff. But these are, you know, this is the sectional that I'm going to be working with. Tomorrow, I'm actually getting my fireplace painted. I got this fan not too long ago. I really like it. It has kind of like a modern retro type vibe. But yeah, so it's a work in progress right now. It's just like a blank canvas for me to work in. And I love it. So yeah, we'll be doing a lot of shopping together, you guys, for home decor. I'm gonna get hubby to get some of this good lighting over here. Some of this good lighting. How <laughs> sexy I look in this light. <laughs> you know really? You like that salt and pepper? Just get them. You ain't gonna be in my vlog <laughs> no more <laughs> because you just full of yourself. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> full of yourself. <laughs> All right, we're about to blow this camp. Why is there so much glare? Huh? Why is there so much glare on my camera? My lens are dirty. Showing up. Huh? Who been in here? It looked like a seat, like, oh, hella close. Oh, that dude in here. What dude? He didn't put everything back. It's hella close. You don't, do you be having this up? You know my legs long. I need it all the way back. I get to ride in a Porsche tonight, y'all. Special occasion. My boo let me ride in a Porsche. You gonna take me shopping? Oh, <laughs> you know what? You are really messing up my vlog. <laughs> like, I can't even get in no groove, y'all, because... Mm -mm. I guess I'm gonna have to be a star in my own vlog. So, like I said, we finna go to Cabazon and do a little shopping. There's nothing in particular that I really want, but I think he wants to grab some stuff from the Porsche store. I don't know, but it's a nice little drive. Like I said, it's about an hour away and we about to just- Break ourselves. You finna, you finna spin out on me? <laughs> you finna make it rain for your girl? <laughs> Why yeah, I said, are you gonna make it rain for your girl? Yes, boo. Nah, don't be lying for the camera. <laughs> I'm gonna tell y'all exactly what he did or did not buy me tonight. Make sure, you make sure you tell him I had you last night. He did. We went, did a little gambling. And your girl wasn't very lucky, but he was, so. But that's, what's the rule? What'd you say the rule is? He who wins. Sorry, it's dark in here, y'all. But what is the rule? He who wins helps the other out. Covers their loss. So he covered part of my loss. <laughs> he don't be covering my loss. What? Are you, you kidding cover me? A, a, a piece Man. of my loss. Mm -mm. I have covered him have extensively. You? Okay. You trying to say I ain't no, anything you no, say? Nice, Anna. Okay. But anywho, so yeah. It's all good. Hopefully we have a good time. I probably film a little bit out there. But as you can see, it's nighttime, so it's dark and you know. But we'll be in the store, so I might film a little bit for you guys. So I'll check in later.
Well, we thought we was gonna do some shopping, y'all. Some but... shoes for you. Really? We thought we was gonna do some shopping, y'all, but they close at six instead of eight. So we're just out here hanging out for a minute. But it looks pretty nice. We got some nice stores out here. And he's pointing at something. I don't know what he's pointing at. Huh? That should be in We have to just look through the window. We can't go inside and shop. Oh well, maybe I'm gonna double my money in the casino. <laughs> Let's hope so. Double my money too. What's in there? <laughs> I bet it is. I think the valet driver doesn't know how to park his car, so he has to hopefully she don't. <laughs> She don't peel out and do no damage. All right, look like she got it. <laughs> she all right? <laughs> you got insurance on that vehicle, sir? Yes, sir. <laughs> all right, we're gonna go in here and win some money, y'all. I didn't win big at the casino. They got me. I still got my shirt though. <laughs> I didn't lose my shirt. What you doing? Uh, I said, what you doing? I didn't lose my shirt. I still got my shirt. Yeah, but you showed some cheek. <laughs> <laughs> really? How you? You don't even know. Well, they be hitting the power button. You don't even know. Really? You know this is copyright. But anyway, y'all. Yeah, I didn't hit a jackpot. Maybe next time. <laughs> Good morning, you guys. Okay, so since I did not hit that jackpot last night at the casino, I guess I got to get up and make some YouTube videos, okay? <laughs> So, yeah, I'm thinking this morning is going to be a green tea type of morning because, uh, yeah, I don't know. I need some energy. I need to get my life together. I need to do something. Okay, so we're going to get this day started right this morning. I have somebody coming to paint my fireplace this morning getting my fireplace painted white so i can get my blank canvas completely set and ready for me to go okay for my decorating adventures and yeah so that is what i'm gonna do this morning I'm make me some green tea try to get a good start for this week because last week was not the best y'all know this mug is still hurting it is still hurting okay and i have an appointment to go back and get some more stuff done wednesday so yeah i guess i'm gonna be on pain meds this week but i'm gonna make me some green tea and i need to do a declutter i might do a declutter today i shouldn't say i need to do a declutter i don't need to do a declutter I want to do a declutter and quite honestly I'm thinking that I should start with my blushes what y'all think I think I should start with my blush and 
I don't know, but this vlog might be all over the place because your girl is having a bit of a week. So let me get something in my system and then we'll see what I'm doing today, okay? Y'all wanna say good morning to Bosco this morning. She hi Bosco. Hi, come over here so the people can see your pretty face. She hi. Really, that's how you do? She hi Mamosh. She hi Mamosh. <laughs> hi, Tweety. Y'all see all that gray hair? Yeah, Bosco is an old man, okay? I treat him like my little Snoopy Doops, but he's your old man. Gee, I'm an old man, Mama. I'm an old man. So, yeah, anyway. She wanna know me, I stay low key, all gas, no brakes, baby, let them hoes sleep. Body on to make your girl OD. I get in my way, never out of my lane. Feel like you the one and I'm on one. So what is gonna be? Baby squad up, we finna go deep. Is you riding on a team? Got what you need. Baby, won't you keep me company? Okay, you guys, so um, he did the basic painting of the fireplace for me. I am so, so happy. I am so happy <laughs> that that tan brown looking fireplace is gone. It just makes the room look so much better, so much different. It's going to be so much more bright and airy in here when I start decorating. But just wanted to give you guys an update. This is where we are so far. He's gonna come back and do touch-ups and put the face back on the fireplace, <laughs> actually, in the morning. So I'm excited, happy. Um, I'll probably, my the face of my fireplace, that's the back, it looks disgusting, but the front of it is brass, if you remember from the before. It's like a brass color. And I don't know if I should switch it out to a different face or get it painted or what. I don't know, but I'm not trying to spend buku buku bucks in here. So just trying to do some slight remodeling. So anywho, this is what she's looking like so far. I'm very, very happy and pleased. Cannot wait to start finishing up the rest of the decor in here okay so yeah that's it she's painted she wanna know me i stay low key all gas no breaks baby let them hold sleep body on to make your girl od i get in my way never out of my lane like you the one in the morning one so what is gonna be baby squad up we finna go deep is you riding on a team got what you need baby won't you keep me company give me something to do when i get lonely i got something for you when we get home if you let me put it down when i hit the town you should ride on me keep your minds on me y'all i know i'm hungry because i'm eating these wings like it ain't nobody's business okay Okay, you guys, so I have been kind of like all over the place this morning. I had to do some editing. I did a look with this Beauty Bay Age of Opulence palette yesterday and loved it. The colors are bomb. The shadows are bomb. The shimmers are bomb. Uh, yeah, I'll probably insert a little clip in this video just so you can see it, just in case you're not following me on Instagram because... I'm not doing a tutorial on YouTube for that look, but on Instagram, there is a little reel on it, um, but I'll put it on here for y'all with some little swatches. So yeah, that palette is bomb. It's so gorgeous. Oh my gosh. The colors, just everything. It's the bomb. So yeah, I went ahead, edited that got that up so that i can you know try and stay active on instagram a little bit 
as well. And the painter for the fireplace has gone. He did what he's doing this morning, which took about three hours because it's about 1130 now and he's gone. So most of the time was taping it up, prepping it and all that good stuff. So really, really cool. Excited about that. But he'll be back to finish up tomorrow. Um, I remembered that I said in one of my blogs, my last blog, that I was going to go through and have a little scent party with you guys with the Zara fragrances that I grabbed or that I ordered online that came and stuff. And I am horrible with notes, descriptions, this smells like this, this smells like that. I am not. I love perfume and fragrances. But I'm not one of those that mentally holds on to what fragrances smell like, what, you know, brands and all that stuff smell like, honey. I spray it. I like it. I buy it. I use it. That's it. So with these are fragrances, I did keep the boxes just for this little, you know, um, scent party that I'm going to have. So I'm going to spray it, smell it, tell you how it makes me feel, and then I will tell you what the box says, <laughs> okay? And at least that should give you a little idea of what it smells like or what it's supposed to smell like. So let's go ahead and do that. Let me get my glasses, okay, because y'all know. Okay, so let's start out with this first one. Really pretty, Zara Femme Winter. So this is what the bottle looks like, you know, just clear with a little peach colored top now i'm going to turn on my fan because this room is going to be smelling like all kind of perfumes by the time i'm done so let's see which one which box is this fem winter okay so this is what the box looks like really pretty kind of like ombre peach and white and so what it says about this it says warm yet smooth spirit ready to walk through fire carefully crafted with a twist of twist for colder days notes of peony vanilla and musk so let me just spray it and then i'll tell you um <laughs> my thoughts mm, very soft mild it makes me feel like it has a scent of when you put on a nice cute like little turtleneck sweater or something or like a cable knit sweater with some jeans and boots and you're just kind of going out in the crisp winter air that's what it smells like to me but very soft very feminine very light so yeah i like it a lot it smells very good so those are my thoughts on that scent okay so this next one here let me move these boxes is Zara Bright Gardenia. Now this one, I know I like the smell. I actually already wore this one uh, when I smelled it. I was like, oh my gosh, it smells so good. So this is what the box looks like. It's just a white box with a kind of shiny orange peachy writing. So it says about this. Now the this size is 3.4 fluid ounces, just in case you're curious. It's a pretty nice size bottle. And it says Eau de Parfum. Picture the colors of a summer evening and enjoy its intense, intoxicating, almost exotic scent, okay? Notes of raspberry, gardenia, and freesia. So, like I said, I already know I like this, the way this smells. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. But I really like gardenia scents or whatever, but this, it does. It smells bright, crisp. Um, just light. It doesn't smell super sweet or anything, but it just, it smells really, really good. Um, you know, this, it's not very floral. I don't think, you know, I smell other scents that are a lot more floral than this to me. So, but it does just kind of give me that nice feeling of spring, you know. I would definitely wear this if I was wearing like a sundress or something, for sure. Very nice. I like it a lot. That is one of my favorites so far. Okay, so this next one here is Zara Woman Gold. 
So that's what the bottle looks like. It's called Woman Gold. Very classy, very sexy looking. Okay, and this is what the box looks like. So it's just black with the gold shiny writing on there. Um, so this one, it says, The sun in liquid form. Like a shiny and bright coat. Hmm. Notes of jasmine, gardenia, and honey. So I think I would like this because I like jasmine. I like gardenia. So let's see what's going on here. Mm, okay, that's different. That's different. I would definitely wear this if I was, you know, dressing a little bit nicer, nice bag, nice jewelry. It doesn't necessarily say late evening date night or anything like that, but it definitely has a little bit of sophistication to it, if that makes sense. You know what I mean? Like maybe you're going wine tasting with your girls and you want to kind of dress it up or, you know, you're going shopping somewhere, you know, a little more high end, a little more kind of fancy or something like that. That's kind of the feel I get from this woman gold. That's just my little, you know, description there of how it makes me, <laughs> how it makes me feel. So next I have Zara Red Vanilla. So this is what the bottle looks like. Beautiful red tone to the bottle. And this is what the box looks like. So it's black, but it has a little red labeling on there. So very, very nice. And let's see, it says here, red vanilla for the most audacious woman within yourself, including a final tango or waltz you choose. Hmm. Notes of black currant, iris, and vanilla. Black currant and iris, huh? Okay, so let's check it out. Okay. So it's not too strong. I'm thinking maybe that's the current that I'm getting a whiff of. Wow. I feel like this is something where, let me put it on my skin, where I would have to put it on, let it settle in, and just kind of get a vibe and feel from it after it settles into my skin. Oh, that's nice. Okay, that's nice. Yeah, this is definitely a scent for someone who is is secure in themselves, knows who they are, knows what they want, and knows how to get it. Yeah, that's what this smells like. This smells like she plays no games, so don't play with her. I like it. Yeah, it's a, it's a little grown and sexy. It, it is. This one's a little grown and sexy. Mm, but it's like kind of a, the, I think the black currant and vanilla kind of, it says it's grown and sexy single woman, quite honestly. I don't, I don't get date night from this. I get, don't talk to me unless you got, you know, you making at least six figures. That's what it smells like to me. <laughs> I'm just saying, <laughs> like... That's a woman who knows what she wants and knows how to get it. Don't play with her, okay? So, yeah, that's what that smells like. Okay, so these scents are all like the same size bottle, like this size here. And they look, and the names sound like they'll be a little more soft, a little more feminine. So this first one here, Cashmere Rose, that's what the bottle looks like cashmere rose nice clear baby pink top and it comes in this cute little box it says i'm soft and charming so that's what the box for this looks like and this is 3.4 fluid ounces as well but i guess it's taller instead of wider so it's the same amount just a different shape for this bottle so what does this say does this one have Oh, come on. Do you not have notes on here? Uh, let me open it up and see if there's any notes on the inside. If not, I'm going to have to look it up online because, child, dang, I don't see. Yeah, I don't see any notes on here. Let me look it up right quick. 
Okay, you guys, so online it says that the cashmere rose has notes of lotus flower, peach, and white musk. So yeah, it sounds very kind of soft and girly in my opinion. Yeah, definitely very, very soft, like soft, flowy, light sundress. Um, yeah, just very, very gentle, very calming, very nice. I like this a lot. I wouldn't feel any type of way about wearing this like every day. Very nice everyday scent. Very feminine. This one here, Fields at Nightfall. Same type of looking bottle. Uh, let me find the box. Okay, Fields at Nightfall. I'm known but mysterious. <laughs> I'm known, but a mysterious place. I guess that's what they're trying to say. So that's what the box looks like. And there's no notes on here either. So let me look this one up. Okay, so Fields at Nightfall, it says top note is praline. Middle note is sandalwood. Base note is tonka bean. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> I don't know how I'm going to feel about this. Okay. Hmm. This is another one where I feel like I would have to let it kind of marinate on my skin to see how I feel about it. Hold on a second, you guys. Hmm. I don't even know how to describe this. Maybe it's because I'm not that familiar with Tonka Bean and praline notes i don't know it's like i can't even really get a feel for it you ever smell the scent and it's like you know it's there but you can't really describe it i'm sorry you guys oh it's starting to come in a little bit now dang how would i describe this gosh i don't know you guys i really don't it just i just smell a very faint hint of like amber vanilla type notes it smells nice it does it smells really nice but it's so freaking faint it is so faint this is very very mild to me i feel like if i was to put this on during the day i would pretty much douse myself in it just so i could smell it so I don't know. This one concerns me. It smells good, though. I'm not saying it stinks. It actually smells good. It's just hard for me to describe. So if you know what those notes smell like, then you know what it smells like. But I have to assume it's very, very mild because I can barely smell it. So let's move on. Okay. Radiant Sunrise. Hopefully the notes are on the box for this. Radiant Sunrise. Which one is it? Is it this one? Oh, I don't have the box for this. This is the only one that I actually bought when I was on my girl's trip. So I got to look this one up too because I definitely threw that box away already. Hold on. Okay, so it says for Radiant Sunrise, it says it reveals notes of bergamot, orange blossom, and musk. Fresh, delicate, and luminous fragrance. So... That sounds like it's going to smell really nice to me. So let's see. Okay. Yeah, it definitely smells like outside. <laughs> it smells um, like... Mm, gosh, I don't want to say fresh cut grass. <laughs> it's very fresh. Very fresh. Very delicate. I'm smelling something else right now. Hold on. Yeah, very fresh, very delicate, very soft. It smells green, if you know what, you know, if that makes sense to you. It doesn't smell like grass, but it smells very light, fresh, and delicate. So, yeah, do I smell, I don't really smell the musk, the orange blossom, yeah. The bergamot, maybe a little, but yeah, I don't really smell the musk too much. But yeah, it smells very light, very airy, very outside. 
springtime to me. Okay, so I have three more, y'all. I know my nose is like, girl, what is you doing? Okay, so let's smell this. Memoir Intense. So larger bottle, very, very pretty. Uh, what size is this? Memoir Intense. 2.71 fluid ounces. So this is what the bottle looks like. This is what the box looks like. Okay, so for Memoir Intense, notes of cypress, rose, and cashmere. Cashmere, is that how you say it? Cashmere? An intense, long-lasting, and feminine fragrance. Okay. It smells good in here, y'all. <laughs> smells like a perfume factory. Ooh, I like that. I like that a lot. Oh, yes. Okay, I like that. <laughs> oh, I like this a lot. Memoir Intense. Okay. Cypress, Rose, and Cashmere. Intense, long-lasting, and feminine fragrance. Maybe I like it so much because it's feminine. Oh, it smells good. Yes, it smells really good, you guys. That's all I can say about it. I like this one a lot. I could wear this every day, dressed up, jeans and a tank top, shorts, sundress, church, club. <laughs> it smells good. <laughs> okay. I like that a lot. Okay. Zara, Violet Blossom. Okay, this bottle. Get into it. You see how pretty that is? Let's see if I can get the light through there a little bit. You see that? gorgeous so so pretty okay violet blossom so this one is 6.8 fluid ounces gee whiz did i say how many ounces the memoir intense is 2.71 y'all this smells good okay this is my favorite totally my favorite even more than the bright gardenia that i said i really really like okay this oh my gosh this smells so good okay so violet blossom okay so this one says a stolen gaze from across the hall blossoming in silence in the middle of the night okay notes of cherry blossom magnolia and tonka bean okay i really like magnolia i think i like tonka bean I don't think I'm that fond of cherry, to be honest with you. So let's see. At least I didn't like that cherry scent, that cheap one from Target. Maybe it just wasn't my vibe. Okay. It's okay. It's okay. Um, yeah, I smell the cherry. I smell the magnolia. It's a little aggressive. It's a little aggressive. Not like, oh my gosh, you know, obviously I'm not choking and gagging. But it's a little aggressive for my aggressive for my taste. It's not as like soft and gentle and girly as I kind of vibe with. It doesn't stink. So, you know, if you like cherry and magnolia and tonka bean, you'll probably like it. I think I could when would I wear this? Um, when would I wear this? At night, if I was going to bed by myself. <laughs> That's when I would wear this. <laughs> like this, it this is something that seems like it would smell really nice, like on your sheets or your, you know, your pillows or something. It is a little bit kind of calming and relaxing to me, the scent of it. But it's not anything I would put on and be like, oh yeah, I smell, I smell really good. I I would rather smell that like in my bed sheets or something, or just something if I put on a, a little nighty and I want to go to bed smelling like something, that's when I would wear that. Okay, so we we got one more, one left. This one is called Incense Sunset. And that's what that looks like. Let me see if you can see that. Incense Sunset. So just a nice clear bottle with like a little gold top. Okay, so what it says about this, it says it includes notes of mandarin, cedar, and incense. Okay, so let's check it out. Let 
very, very Mandarin, <laughs> very citrusy. Um, what else did it say? Cedar. Yeah, I can smell the cedar for sure. Yeah, I can smell, smell the cedar. Oh, it smells nice. It's a little, little hint of masculinity in there. Okay. A little more aggressive. It's, it's, it's that feminine yet. I could put my own Ikea furniture together, okay? That's what it smells like. Like, I might wear a suit out to dinner instead of a dress. That's what it smells like to me. <laughs> like, like, I'm a woman, but I don't need you, okay? That's what it smells like to me, honestly. I smell that citrus. I smell that cedar. It smells good, but yes, it definitely smells like, yeah, I, I take out my own trash and I'm on my own lawn. That's what it smells like to me. So yeah, that's it. So that is the end of my little Zara scent party, you guys. Hopefully it was helpful for you. I don't know. That's all I know to do. Tell you what it says and tell you how it makes me feel. Okay, so but my favorite is definitely this Memoir Intense. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. I like this Bright Gardenia. Um, and if I had to pick a third one, maybe it would be the Woman Gold. Because this is, this is kind of nice. Okay, so that's it, you guys. Anyway, I don't know. I don't think I'm doing any type of decluttering today. Maybe later on in the week, okay? But your girl has some other stuff to do. So, I'll give it y'all later, okay? So, the fireplace is done. It has the front put back on. I love it. I love it. Oh, my gosh. I'm probably going to go ahead and put a picture of how it looked before. Just so you guys see the difference in the before and the after. But, yes, painting it white. I think was a smart move. So, yeah, I'm so happy it's done. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah.